Hi there and welcome to another video. As you can see behind me, we've got Archie Hamilton's amazing RS3R. You must have seen the videos on our channel by now and also on Archie's channel of the amazing handover from the Edelschmiede VIP lounge in Germany. What I thought we'd do whilst we was out there, it made perfect sense to do some uh, work on their dyno. So a lot of conflict um, and a lot of information contradicting each other around UK dynos and power readouts and what ABS are claiming compared to other tuning companies, so on and so forth. So rather than us try and do that, what we're going to do, we're going to put it onto the dyno in Germany and let the technical guys talk us through that. So let's cut away now to the footage from Germany and see how we got on. So as you can see, we're now here in Apt headquarters here in Kempton. We've got the car into the dyno as promised. The guys are literally just strapping it down. Uh, it's one of the really, really um, high quality, very, very expensive dyno, something like 10 million euros as a facility. There's a separate engine test bench everything else but it's really important to um, what we're going to do we're going to once we've rolled it up we're then going to talk through the technicalities of what makes this so special how it's measured and how everything's calibrated because yeah. what we're finding a lot of the calibrations in the UK we're getting strange readings from various other tuning companies um, because of that we've brought it out here we'll go through it in some detail and show they do make the power we're quoting Direct gear means like uh, the, the engine RPM is the same as the output shaft of your gearbox. So yeah, so now we've got the downwards curve as well. Exactly. And then we'll see the power. And we can see... Record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 501.8 exactly. is the exact power. It's uh, max. This is max, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Going in man. flat out, we're maxing out my car on the dyno. Let's see how fast we can get to. Can we get to 190 miles an hour on a dyno? I 
now done our power runs. What we've done, we've done a VMAX run to check the top speed of the car, and we've also done a power run. And now Dennis is going to kindly talk us through the results on these screens. Yeah, exactly. Welcome. Um, so what we see here is like our dyno curve. Um, mainly if you have like a dyno run, there are like two phases. The one phase where you like measure the, the wheel power, and then afterwards you measure the, the losses when you like turn up the engine right to max power and max RPM, and then you like leave it drop and measure the losses. So what is quite important here is that you like measure it in direct gear. That's for the RS3, for example, in the fourth gear. So every loss and everything is like uh, calculated um, correctly. Afterwards, your two curves, like the uh, your wheel power curve and your loss curve, are added together because that's the thing that your engine has to overcome to gain this uh, wheel power, and that's mainly your uh, engine power. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, like to compare dynos placed here, for example, in Camden or in the Netherlands or something like that, uh, you have like a corrector, uh, yeah, a factor, uh, which calculates from your uh, ambient uh, temperature, your ambient pressure, and uh, the humidity of the air. Mm -hmm. And um, this together uh, with your engine power is your corrected power, which we normally like uh, state on our uh, fact sheets. So it's a standardized power. It's a standardized yeah. power, yeah, exactly. So all dynos like are calibrated to the same standard. Exactly, and corrected uh, uh, due to EWG, that's um, something from the European Union, mm -hmm. um, that they figured out how to measure it and compare dynos. Exactly. So, so engine power 501.8 PS. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. 606 Newton, Newton meters. meters torque. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. So as you can see from the video, we've made the uh, perfect power. It's uh, claimed as 500 horsepower. We've just clipped that. We've got a good torque curve. We also had 196 miles an hour, which is absolutely perfect. So Dennis is now going to talk us through this dyno. We're actually in the dyno cell itself and the things that make this so special. Yeah, so um, what we have here is like a big uh, fan or air intake where we have like uh, airflow coming in. And this is very important like for a good dyno measurement to get the, the car cooled down and the intake air cooled down like it's outside. And if you're driving outside, you have your air in the environment, but if you're in, like in a closed area, you don't have any air coming up front. So this, uh, this is what makes our dyno very special. And yeah. So another thing I'm dying to know, how much power can this... Uh rolling road actually measure yeah we hadn't had any car like uh, about that number but uh, it's capable of measuring like 2,000 horsepower we had like a thousand something like that more even on, on this dyno but uh, it's capable of like 2,000 yeah. horsepower and the other thing I've noticed these rollers most dynos in the UK we tend to have two rollers the car sits into the well, there's obviously a lot more drag and whatever yeah. with this we're sitting directly on top of one roller which must be a lot more efficient as well yeah, a lot more is. accurate to measure yeah it's 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 more efficient and uh, of course you have um, less friction here mm. and for like uh, deep vehicles it's easier like to go a little bit up than inside of the oh, with the, the skirts and the exactly. body kits and flicks yeah, yeah. 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 To catch those yeah. perfect thank you very much yeah you're welcome so as you can see behind me we've got the car unstrapped and out of the dyno really pleased it make really good power here I think it's really important to note the sheer scale of this um, particular operation. So lots and lots of myths in the UK, we're not making power. This is a huge, great facility, as you can see by the size of it. It's all calibrated by the local government as well. So TUV approvals are on. It's not apt making up these power figures. They send it away. Uh, they're independently tested, um, so on and so forth. So hopefully that's been an informative video and we'll catch up in the next one.